Hello, it is February here in Phoenix and I have cut back most of my roses for the winter. Uh, most of my roses have started to kind of put on new shoots and start growing again, so that's looking good. So in this video, I have um, a couple of miniature roses that I still haven't cut back. Uh, they were still blooming, so I kind of let them bloom, um, finish blooming, and now I am going to cut them back. So it is a bit late in the year to cut back the roses, but beginning of February is still um, an okay time to prune back your roses. I like to do mine in January. Um, but like I said, I, I do like to let them, if they're blooming, I like to let them bloom and then, and then I'll cut them back. So this guy right here is a miniature rose. It's a Sunblaze rose. I got it from Lowe's. I got, I have like maybe uh, four or five Sunblaze roses and um, I really like them. They're miniature roses so they stay nice and small. Their growth is very compact and, and the uh, blooms are very cute and miniature. So I will show you how to prune these miniature roses back in this video. And previously um, I have pruned back in January a couple of the miniature roses so I can show you how they look a couple weeks after I prune them back and then I'll show you um, how to prune back this one right here. So here is my miniature rose, my sunblaze rose. You can see that it was blooming and now it's kind of in between blooms so now I'm going to take the time to kind of cut this back, um, trim it up, shape it up. So it's friend that next to it. This was another sunblaze rose in white. It um, had bloomed and kind of stopped blooming a couple weeks earlier, so I went ahead and pruned it. So I did want to show you this one so you can see how the pruning did help a lot to shape it up and then to really um, spur new growth, like new very young growth to come off this rose. So looks good. You can see I kept a few main canes um, to kind of shape it. And from there, it's really just taking off and, and filling in pretty nice. So we'll do the same to this one. So the first thing I'm going to do on this is kind of take a look and see, see what we've got. Um, the shape on this is already pretty good, but, oh, squatting. So we really just want to keep some main main canes growing in here and then you can see maybe you can't but you can see down here right here so down in here I don't know if you can see it but there's a couple of like new new really nice looking canes growing in down there so we'll want to uh, trim around it that way they've got room to grow in and we'll probably get a lot of these uh, bushier, bushier pieces up at the top off. That way the new growth is going to grow off of something nice and sturdy. So these, some of these um, less sturdy, flimsier canes, those can go. And then all of this kind of junk on the top, we're going to get rid of it. Okay, so now this right here is a nice new shoot, like a really nice thick new shoot. So I don't really want anything growing into it. I want to give it some space. That way this guy has room to grow. So let's get all of this out next to it. There's another new shoot right here that looks really, really nice. So again, 
Um, I want to get this out of its way and this is also kind of growing in the middle of the, the plant so typically we, we want to get the center a bit more open. So let's just cut this out. So I did, I took quite a bit off of this, but it had um, a lot of new uh, shoots forming on it. You can see this one's new, this one's new, that one's new, these two down here are new, this one's new, this one's new. So really it had a lot of new growth coming off of it anyway, so I wanted to give it uh, room to, to breathe and grow, and we just kind of left some of these, oop, that was a bad cut need um i need sharper shears so i left um this one here on the outside this one here on the outside there's still um one down there so yes again i did take quite a bit off of it but it, um that new growth is going to be more vigorous and it's going to put on more blooms so wanted to give this the new growth, more room, more opportunity to grow. So I'm sure we'll see this bloom here in the spring.